due to the amount of coverage Derek Jackson has been getting in this world, I myself had to jump in the game a little bit. And I had to because I felt like there's so many lessons to learn from um, you know this hugely popular social media person and the, the message that he's been sending to our women for the last six or so years. I felt like it's really, really important to see what we as men can learn from this. What's good world? This is Nakata, the author of Heart on Break, doing a little video collection here pertaining to this subject. And I, and I felt it was necessary to reinforce the principles that I've been reinforcing for the last five years since my book Heart on Break came out in 2016. And it's that, you know, you must find yourself first, first and foremost. And there has to be a level of authenticity that comes with it so much so that women know who you are and you're able to bring it to them you know being authentic first and foremost and being focused on your life's purpose versus being focused on women so this has been the movement for the last five years been out here for a while a lot of people have seen it a lot of haven't but definitely you know my shit has been imitated niggas know what's up my shit is legit and this and these strategies work especially that i'm covering health wellness you know personal healing trauma soul ties and various other things in my book that weren't being talked about but let's get into homeboy right here and 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 and, and dissect this a little bit i call what he's doing alpha simping and it's called alpha simping because listen homie does make some bread you know he is a successful entrepreneur He's got to get his respect for that, I believe. And, and, and that's the alpha aspect, one of the alpha aspects. The other most important alpha aspect that makes you know his composition is that he's tall, dark, and handsome. Women are attracted to him whether he has money or not. So that's the alpha aspect of it. Now, the simping aspect of it is that he's been pandering online for years. He doesn't give a shit. He'll tell women wherever the hell they want to hear. And one of the biggest things that homie's been telling women over the years is that they're perfect the way they are and that a man ought to be uh, happy to be with her even if she has three or four children with two different guys or what have you. A man is supposed to treat her like a queen or like all these different things and be faithful and so since he's this alpha image type of guy right women are gonna look and say well you know if a guy like him can settle down and be with one woman no matter how many women wants him and, and, and treat her like the best and, and and put her up on a pedestal then you know my boyfriend should be able to do that he ain't even as tall and dark as handsome as this guy you know what i'm saying and he got all these women chasing after him so women tried to raise the bar with what he gave to them and with this illusion that men are going to literally sign up for monogamy based on you know the women the woman alone like 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 <laughs> like she was just going to be good enough for him to, to get his best 100 percent of the time and you know he never talks about the results of when the man is not being his best when he does go through things these women that are having these lofty illusions in their mind they're not necessarily that easy to deal with especially when you come to the table feeling like you need to please them so that's the simping aspect of what he's been bringing for the last five or six years with his message like i said i can't hate homie's been making his money he's a sex successful business person i've heard him brag about making six figures in a month and perhaps he's done that several different times because i've been a part of some marketing things where he's been featured for working with some of these guys you know to increase revenue so he's very serious about his business for sure and and, and we got to look at him as an inspiration you know on, on the alpha side the good you know black men can make it you can you can do these different things the thing about it is just like with music you know music and um entertainment like 
a lot of these guys got to come out here and start talking a whole bunch of crap that they don't mean that they never live that they don't do it's it, it's it's dishonest and homeboy's very dishonest by doing what he's done but also being exactly what he's been you know speaking against so maybe that's some old you know demon in the closet type shit you you talk about yourself in videos and you know you seem so convicted about what you're talking about simply because you are what you're talking about. So, like, you know, that, that simping aspect is the part that we want no parts of. We want no parts of that. But, you know, and so it really does take some purpose within a man to really actually dig down deep inside of him and find something that's authentic about him to do as an expression of his purpose. You can't be faking it like this guy did. You get what I'm saying? Do something that's a real expression of who you are. Don't be lying to people. And, and trust me, I know a lot of people are into these type of um, ways of making a living. You know what I'm saying? So let, let's let's get to his 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 wife that he has stretched out in his video right you know <laughs> people are comparing the mistresses and, I, and i'm not sure if any of this is true uh, you know just to be honest uh, mistress one or two but mistress one and two are you know if you look at them versus look at the wife right here i'm not saying the wife is unattractive and and, and you know the genderologist posted this and he says he's not saying he was right i'm just saying he understands why he would have stepped out and <laughs> I mean, this is quite simple for every man, right? This ain't that hard to understand at all. It ain't that hard to understand even if you if you make a decent amount of money, even if you're making 30, 40, oh, well, maybe not 30, but 50, 40, 50 grand and you're, you're single, you don't have any children, you can take care of yourself. You can afford to attract some women who are probably in that same bracket or above. You know, it doesn't take that much to be attracted to to be attracting women per se and most of the women look like this these days because they're influenced by all the social media crap that they see so they are looking you know they're scantily dressed they always got the tits out ass out back shots on facebook profiles it ain't that hard you know the truth was really hard though was really hard in my opinion for especially when it comes to to old boy Derek. you dig was really hard and I and I commend him on this aspect of it because it ain't hard to fall for 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 side pieces and hoes they are very charming they are very very charming that that's what they do you dig so but what's hard to do though is to actually find a good wife and quite frankly you could tell you could tell that his wife is a nice good girl and and, and for me that's winning and she's gonna stick through with the team even if he's a liar maybe she orchestrated this to air him out a little bit who knows because you know most good girls they ain't stupid you know but they're gonna play that back role if they need to play that back role and of course if you're gonna compare her to you know the 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 sensational feelings you get from from hoes you know like the <laughs> i mean look at look eh, mistress one and two come on mistress one and two and look at wifey you dig but that's what hoes do hoes are always good looking but it's not really easy to find a good wife material woman that's gonna stick with you and help build with you so i mean he might be a liar or fraud and many other things but he sure got himself the right one for a wife yeah she's gonna be a little embarrassed but come on man you don't gotta be a celebrity to embarrass the shit out of your wife you don't got to be caught cheating to embarrass your wife. You know, you don't have to be that. You know, this is what happened, especially when you're dealing with under 40, under 45 aged men who are very attractive, got probably some sexual trauma in their closet, which, you know, is why they're consistently attracting these hoes. And not only that, you're good looking. So the hoes are going to come as well too. you know, finding a good wife, material woman who hasn't been ran through and, and, and you feel really good about her having your children and being up in your house. That ain't so easy, bro. That ain't so easy. And I'm sure she didn't have any children before him, but you never know. Simps will, you know, will do certain things and, and it, it, that's not to their benefit, which I feel like there are some situations where a woman's children could be of benefit to a man if he's if he's a leader, you know. And so now it also seems like homie is 
advocating for or marketing for his new book now if this is what he's doing and this is all some fraud just to sell books i'm, I'm sure it's not a fraud because I, I heard most of it is real but this is like the complete opposite of what i've been talking about for five years in my book you get what i'm saying the complete opposite and listen i'm not saying some people don't get to heal together you feel me I'm not saying people don't get that opportunity. What I'm saying for the most part is that the whole healing together process depends on how much healing each person has done before. And when you're looking at a cat like him, he's probably got some sexual trauma, been out here in these streets with these hoes. He's an attractive guy. He's been played on, probably preyed on by older chicks because many of us have been through that, especially when you're good looking and you're young. You usually be these older bros that be trying to do something. I know I've had a cougar or two uh, at dating back to my 20s and even in high school so like you never know what's in his bag and you know when you love hoes it's probably because of the lifestyle that you've been through dealing with hoes you know and the other thing is that some men they get to a level where they get so much more confident and then they welcome more hoes into their life especially when they think everything is stable at home so maybe everything is stable at home because wifey is not traumatized because wifey doesn't have the same problem that you have. Maybe he's her first, you know, second or third or something like that. Close and early in the bag. You get what I'm saying? Maybe she didn't come from, you know, hood lane where somebody touched her or raped her or, or something like that. Maybe she doesn't have all that in the bag. Or maybe she does. And that's part of the reason why she stays in the situation. But you got to think. Part of the reason she stays in the situation is because they've been together for a long time. And it is extremely profitable for her to stay in the relationship. Why would she sabotage whatever? A family that she's building with him just for some hoes you get what i'm saying and i'm not saying that the women are whole character they just whole behavior and because i hear one of them are you know some a long time friend or some shit like that which is extra simping like <laughs> be friends with a woman all this time and only be sticking your head in her crotch come on man like oh, come on oh, that's pathetic that's pathetic but like i said this is this goes against what my book talks about for sure for sure because you know what i'm saying like i've been there and most people have you sometimes just are not in a position to be dealing with somebody else's trauma sometimes you need to let them go deal with themselves beforehand and in most cases like it's most times that you need to let them go because your trauma in some cases may align up with somebody else's trauma let's say you both didn't have a father growing up so you kind of understand each other well but you're going to deal with that differently than she deals with it and po possibly the fact that you both are missing the same thing will cause more trauma in that relationship but sometimes it's trauma bonded that's going on in these relationships so it makes it really hard to actually heal together and that's why my book is, is talking about not even doing that shit at all. Forget about it. Take a break. Detach yourself from these relationships that you think you need so much. I've been in these shoes before, except for the marriage part. You get what I'm saying? Where, you know, there's so many women that are interested in you, are coming at you at one time, you know, are shooting their shots. They even wait and they come in different seasons. I'm telling you. You get what I'm saying? They want you to see them. It's... <laughs> You get what I'm saying? So if that's what a man is used to, it takes some time, especially to be by himself, to deprogram himself if he actually is looking for an actual marriage, a family building experience, because you're going to have to put these hosts to the side or put these hosts in a specific order that makes sure that, that in certain that, you know, wifey is being respected because wifey is in the wifey position for a reason because i have healed and i found somebody that was decent but you know you never know what each person's trauma is and i'm just saying you know maybe i take the safe route by just detaching myself from women in situations when it's convenient for me to go inside of myself and do what i need to do and work on myself and a lot of times you'll be you'll find that the temptation is very hard most men can't be alone 30 days without talking to some strange woman or talking to somebody that likes them or just depending on a woman's insight or intuition because you're not listening to yourself and you're not tapped into 
to your own intuition. I talk about this in the book. You know, a lot of us just haven't had that time, especially the alpha male types where women are constantly attracted to you. They're never leaving you alone. Fuck around and you have some money. They even more never going to leave you alone. And so that way, when it comes to women, it's more of management or you have, you know, a real mean stiff arm to put, keep them to the side so they don't interfere with what's going on in your business. Because at the end of the day, you know, I feel as if most men, especially alpha men, are designed to be polygynous and have more than one woman. And I believe that most women feel this this way as well. And these are the things that you got to decide on your own by yourself. You can't be coming to these conclusions when you're in a relationship with a woman because that's when this whole heal together shit crumbles real fast. When you just have some ideals or you have a destiny that's real different than how you started out with this woman. So the time alone helps you determine what it is is that's that that's that's making you who you are or what direction you need to go in to become who you are and being able to be by yourself long enough to envision that without a woman any kind of uh, contingencies you know compromises or accommodations it's important to do this and this is what a lot of alpha males just haven't been doing for all these years and it's time that we do it because sometimes man you know even if you are a little bit more healed than the woman listen dealing with her trauma especially if you you're not used to it, man, that shit could break you. That shit could break you. It can make you feel like a damn fool. It can make you not even know who you are. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's to me, it's, it's real important not to even play that game if you don't have to. If you don't have to be holding hands with somebody who's been through some shit that you really don't even understand let's say you haven't been through much or let's say your trauma threshold is here but hers you know top yours like completely like she just been through hell like sometimes she need to deal with that on her own she need to go get some help she needs to get some therapy some counseling or whatever she needs you don't want to always have to go through that and the same for a guy you know a lot of these guys they they've they've been you know uh, sexually assaulted themselves sometimes by these older bras that i was talking about or whatever or whomever you get what i'm saying and they are carrying that as some deep dark secret and it's causing problems within their relationship so we see all of this all the time is it good for a woman to stick through with them i think that if depending on the woman and what she's been through she don't gotta do that should have de dealt with that on his own so this whole heal together thing is kind of like attaching yourself to bad debt sometimes you don't necessarily want to do it you got to be careful you really do so that's one of the lessons i think i'm gonna bring another one in regards to um Derek jackson using this opportunity you know to promote my shit too you feel what i'm saying my shit is authentic you know this is really who i am and my experiences and and it's really what we all need as men that time away from relationships to build ourselves to define ourselves to talk to to define our purpose and begin to follow it you know when i dropped my book it on the wide scale they weren't talking about following purpose everything was pickup artists and, and trying to pursue women and figure out what to do and how to get with women and, and as you can see it's still going on i'm really focused on this i'm really trying to make a difference for people to understand and see that like we have fallen so far as men that we are not going to pick ourselves up in relationships <laughs> we're only going to pick our families up after we picked ourselves up by going into great relationships that build that so as usual yo this is nakata you know go ahead and cop the book at hardandbreak.com or on amazon leave a review appreciate you you can also work with me one-on-one -on -one with my coaching sessions on my website hardandbreak.com peace